92.5. Mm, hey, girl. What's up with you? Wait a minute. Is this the right number? It's um the loser line. Come on. Just call me back. If you haven't heard the loser line before, it works like this. Let's say a guy approaches you while you're out at the club and uses this charming pickup line. Hey, what's the difference between a cheeseburger and a boner? Oh, gross. Well, you're not giving me a cheeseburger right now, are you? Oh. Step number one, do not scissor kick him in the groin. Oh. Step number two, tell him that you think his pickup line was funnier than a Pauly Shore straight to VHS movie. And then give him the loser line so hopefully he can leave an awkward voicemail that we can play for you on the air. Voicemails like this one. First unheard message. Yeah, hey, it's worse. Uh, it's almost the end of the game, which probably means you're not turning up. Um, so I got a feeling you screwed me up. But since that's the case, it doesn't really matter. Um, I only really bought us the seats because I got us. If I'm really honest, I only bought us these seats because I was hoping to score. But it doesn't really matter because God and the Sounders have won. Oh, what the f- uh, I'll try again later. It sounds like he's having a bad day. Not only did he buy tickets to it sounds like a soccer match yeah. Yeah. for the girl that gave him the loser line, but now the team's getting scored on. Is it yeah. like the and first very upset. ever guy with an English accent that didn't actually I know. get a call yeah, back? How, ba- how bad does this guy have to be? Yeah, he's he must ugly. be horrible. He actually called back. Here's another message oh, from this no. dude. Next message. Yeah, it's me again. It's I'm actually, I was trying to play it really cool before, but I'm actually pretty f***ing <laughs> off. Um, you screwed me up. It's, I'm out of pocket. I've got no money. So, can you call me back? Next message. Is it hard for anyone else to take anger from a guy with an accent seriously? I actually, he <laughs> probably kind of isn't charming. even British. He's obviously at a soccer match. Yeah. He's probably one of those American people that goes to a soccer match and then starts speaking British. <laughs> You know, I sit next to those guys all the time. He's yeah. just like, he goes there and he's like, man, I'm totally going to meet up with this chick. All right, soccer has begun. <laughs> Bollocks. Remember, if you want the special number for the loser line, all you have to do is text the word loser to 78592 and we'll send you that phone number that you can give out to somebody who's hitting on you that you'd rather not have hitting on you and have them call us and leave us voicemails like this one. Next message. Hey, Becky, this is D- I uh, was your Uber driver <gasps> last Saturday, and uh, I wanted to call and leave you a message to just say hi. Uh, <laughs> hi. Uh, this might sound awkward, but while I was uh, driving you around, you you never said it, but I think I got the gist of what you do. Wink. (laughs) And I was wondering if I could um, pay for your services. (laughs) Like, um, just inquiring, first of all, how much much that is and (laughs) how much time I would get. Um, does, does Does it come in increments? Like, is it? three hours or four hours or or more i don't i don't know uh, i've never done this before so i kind of like don't i kind of don't know the system here um but i wouldn't mind if you could show me the ropes so to speak i'm big time interested next message oh, oh creepy my and he's an Uber driver. So you know the whole time he was probably just like, so, hey, can I get your number yeah. so that we can talk about a transaction later and even if, something? Even if she is in that line of work, you don't leave a message as evidence of what she does, yeah, you right. dumbass. Yeah. Get her on the phone and actually talk to her about it. Yeah, it's or, like... Or in person. Uh-huh. Here's another message from the loser line. Next message. Hey, Bridget. This is... We met at Club Hot the other night, remember? It was a lot of fun, huh? I hope you enjoyed those lemon drops I bought for you and your friends, you know? (laughs) My little gift from me to you. That's just a taste of things to come. You know, we only talked for a minute, but I didn't get a chance to tell you what I do. uh, I'm a lawyer. That's kind of who I am, what I do. It's my whole life. 
you know, a lot of people, they like to make a big deal out of the fact that I'm a lawyer, but it's not a big deal. I worked hard to get here, <laughs> and not to brag or anything, but I f- ace to the bar exam. You know, a lot of people, they study a lot, and they, they still don't even pass it the first time. Well, I was one and done, knocked it out of the park right away. It's not, it's not a big deal, you know, it's just, it's just what I do, you know. This is all just me telling you a little bit about myself, because, you know, we didn't get a chance to talk so much, but I hope we can change that. But uh, I just want to let you know, you know, if you ever want to, like, take a weekend trip or something, it's on me. I got plenty of money. We got time. I uh, just love to see you again. So, anyway, uh, just give me a call back. And, again, this is Rich from the club. And, uh, yeah, I'm a lawyer. Bye. End of messages. A, a lot of people make a big deal about it. I try to downplay the whole fact that I'm a lawyer, legal guy, own my own firm, lots of cash, money, lawyer, 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 lawyer. And I wish people would stop talking about it. And I'm pretty sure bragging about the bar exam is not any better than trying to brag about like your SAT scores. Yeah. It's, it's not cute. It's just dumb. <laughs> yeah. Did I mention the thing about law and how I'm a lawyer? Brooke and Jubal in the morning.